Hello, this will be my process whilst I create um, this animation using animated diff. Before anything, I'm going to go to Civic AI. I want to use the model Tunyu. Uh, Tunyu has already been installed um, if you guys want to use it. I explained it in my previous tutorial, so I'll just go ahead. I just want to use this style and inspiration. Once you guys click here, it's going to show you the prompt generation and data for everything that was used for this particular image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all the settings here. And the way to do that, I'm just going to click on this button here, copy generation data. I just come to stable diffusion. I just paste it here. When I click on this icon here, this is going to uh, put in all the details into all the parameters here. So once I click this, everything has been assigned to where it belongs. I also have my checkpoints to turn you. So I click generate. If you have the high res included, usually it takes longer. So it's um, basically taking it from the default 5112 by this to 768 by 1536. So what I want to do now is to uh, change the prompt. I want to use something, um, something of Santa, so Santa Claus. Um, this was the idea I had to describe 10 possible scenes of Santa Claus. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. I don't want to include um, all of this just to make the prompt simple. Basically, we can go for any of these um, possible scenes ChatGPT has described here. I'll just come back to Stable Diffusion. I'm just going to take out the scenes I don't want and replace it with um, my prompt from ChatGPT. So you guys can also see here we have um, brackets highlighting some of the text. If we come back here, we forget to read the information below from most of the checkpoints, which is very, very important. And to highlight what the bracket says, your default prompt must be included. So you have the positive prompt as basic, best quality, masterpiece, negative is worst quality, you know, and I think that's the same thing we have here from the prompt we copied. It's got the same thing here. The bracket is also placing focus on the prompt generation to tell Stable Diffusion to put more weight on this. Actually, it's paying more attention to this than most of the other text here. You guys can see that's what the bracket means just to highlight on that. So I'll just clear all this and I'll just paste that. Uh, I have an aerial view of Santa Claus flying across the globe. I'll keep this like this. And I want to have it by 16 by 9 input the numbers here just to have the size also i'll just clear the seed because we don't need the same image of um, the drama guy here i think we can generate to see what we have all right so we definitely don't need this and this is not what we are going in for so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the upscaler off and also we are going to be running with the ruler a and from here, basically, I think it's just uh, playing around to see what you come up with uh, by just matching up to your prompt. So you would also just push this a bit to 40. This is changing things a bit. We are almost quite there uh, just by changing the sampling method. Now, next thing we can do is maybe we just um, we just highlight this, holding control and up. You can also give your prompt weight by doing this. And I'm going to also change this from Santa's Santa Claus in a sleigh flying across the globe. Let's see what we get. We still need to work on our prompt, so this is not what I want. So an aerial view in the sky of Santa Claus in a sleigh flying across the globe. Okay, let's see. I'm going to change the aspect ratio here. I'm not too happy. 864. 80. I'll take out this. Uh, so basically, it's just tweaking and making sure we have the right prompt before we proceed. There is, uh, I'm going to use the add detailer. This might give us some quality with the face. So the add detailer basically means instead of getting these uh, faces sometimes that are weird, put more detail on the facial uh, generations to make it more um, realistic. It's still not there for me. Um, I have a few Lauras here. I'm going to um, add this Laura here. So this is the Laura I'm using. 
just the detail to a lot of it's just adding more details to what we have to see if we are going to have a good generation from this first of all i'm going to keep this seed to see how um detailed this is going to be so i'm going to click here to generate the seed so we are improving the same image by keeping the same seed And uh, the next thing I'm thinking of doing is to just switch this whole um, prompt around. That's the most time consuming um, part of the whole generation. Making sure you just have something that's not out there. To save us time, I went ahead to work on this in the background. From a few test renders and experiences, I came down to using this size. I realized another challenge was the prompt generation. So I have also updated the prompt as you guys can see. This worked well in my previous tutorial. I would like to give a huge credit to the creator and you guys can also check the links in the description to see most of his animations on Civit AI. I have then adjusted the prompt to the theme we are trying to achieve, which is Santa riding in a sleigh. I have also included some weight in the prompt to emphasize more of bringing Santa as a character to focus in the animation. Once we have our perfect prompt, we are ready to animate using Animate Diff. If you still need to install the extension, please take the time to watch the beginner's video, which uh, the link should be in the top right corner now. First thing we need to change or consider, change the upscale to 4K Ultra Sharp, upscale by 1.5, High rest steps will go for 14. Denoising strength will push it down to 0.5. I'll change the upscaler back to RSGAN 4X Animate 6B only because that's what the checkpoint recommends for two new. So we we'll keep to that. Once we are done with the upscaler, we'll just head down to Animate Diff to put in the right settings uh, so we can start animating this prompt. Uh, we click down to open the animate div, uh, select the checkpoint to be 14, enable animate div, that's very necessary. Put, I'll put the frames to 16 frames for now. Just to have a quick preview, that will be two seconds. Uh, we keep it at a GIF format and we keep everything else at default. And uh, we'll just go Click generate to see the outcome. Our first outcome is not bad. This is what we are actually going for. But let's see if we can have a different seed and variation to the animation. What I will do is to keep everything else the same, but we will just hit generate. Because we have the seed at negative one, this is going to give us a whole different result. I am very happy everything is coming together. So I'm just going to extend the frame duration we have now from 16 to 64. We will keep everything else and just hit generate. Since we still have the seed at negative one, we are going to get something different. So I'm going to speed up the process and I'll see you guys once this is done. All right, so this is what we have and I am going to keep this. Uh, you guys can always experiment to see what you come up with, but overall, I like this. Since this is AI, it takes a lot of patience uh, to come up with the best results. We can't really see the faces, and in the next video, I will be showing the process of how to restore faces of animated GIF generations. 
To locate your GIF file after generation, you would have to go into your stable diffusion directory of installation. Uh, you scroll down to your outputs and uh, you go to text to image. You will see your animate div folder. And once you open this folder, you are going to find all your animations uh, created with animate div. If you learned something new, you can give this video a thumbs up. As well, you may want to subscribe to stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.